Hey there, this is Saba from XPro. In this video, I am going to show you how to hide a default page title in WordPress. As you guys know, whenever you create a new page in WordPress, you have to name it first by adding a title. When you publish it, this will appear at the top of your page like this. No doubt, it's very useful in organizing your content in dashboard. It helps you distinguish between different pages, right? But here's the thing. This default page title cannot be customized, so we usually choose to hide it. Let me show you how. Simply go to WordPress dashboard and scroll down to the appearance section and click the customize option. Here are multiple options. Move to the banner, which is the title banner consists the page title. Here we have three layouts to present the page title. First in banner with left alignment. Second, in banner with background media and center alignment. And third, we have no banner option. I'm selecting this one to hide my page title. Interesting, right? Now click on publish. See how simple it is. Now, here is the fun thing. You can also customize this page title using extra element or free page title widget in just few clicks. You might be thinking, why do we even need it? For these three reasons. This widget fetch your page title dynamically. Like this. So you just have to write it one time. Like this. Plus it saves your time and minimizes human error. How? Let me explain. For example, the title is car maintenance and you are using heading widget. Now you want to update your page title to car maintenance and repair. See your heading is the same. You have to customize it again. And the best part is totally customizable from colors to fonts, sizes and alignments. Let me show you how to do it. First of all, make sure to download the free version of Expo Elementor add-ons by clicking on the link given in the description below. You can also watch our video on how to install and activate it. So here is the template for our digital marketing agency. In the services, you can see this brand management service page where I have used this heading widget. Now I will use Expo page title and customize it just like the heading. For this, search page title. Simply drag and drop it here. This is the default view of the widget. You see, as I set it as my page title, it dynamically is showing right here. Let's customize it. In the general section, we have three options. Icon, HTML tag, and alignment. The first option is to select an icon. We have two options here, icon library and SVG. In the library, we offer 360 plus icons. All you need to do is simply search for what you want. Or you can also upload SVG, insert media from uploaded file or media library. Here we have HTML tag. HTML tags are used for creating headings on a web page. They help structure content and indicate the importance or hierarchy of sections. In the HTML tag, you have six options, H1, H2, H3, and so on. I'm selecting this H1. You can choose three alignments in the content style, left, center, or right. Let's do styling now. Let's dive into typography setting and customize our text step by step. In the family, I'm selecting Geologica, Set the text size to 84. Adjust the thickness using options like medium, semi-bold or bold. I'm setting it to bold for a strong look. Next we have transform option uh, that let you change text to uppercase, lowercase, capitalize. I'm setting it to capitalize. The style option allows you to make text italic, oblique, or normal. I don't need it, so I'll reset it. 
The decoration option gives choices like underline, overline or line through. I'm keeping it at default. Next is the line height. Here we can adjust the space between the text lines. Next we have letter spacing. You can increase or decrease space between letters. Next is the word spacing that control gaps between words like this. In the color section, there are several options like clear the color if you want no color, create a new global color for consistency, use dynamic tags and a color sampler. A color sampler is a tool that allows you to pick colors directly from the images on your page. It helps you match your design elements like text, backgrounds or buttons to the colors in an image without guessing or using external tools. The stroke option create a border around each letter of the word. Here select stroke color and stroke width. Set according to your design requirements. Next is the text shadow. You can enjoy any color, make it blur or set it to positions like horizontal and vertical. See? Now let's style the icon. Firstly, I will choose an icon related to my services or I'm just adding this one just to show you that how can we style an icon. From icon position, you can adjust the position before or after. I'm setting it to after. Now adjust the icon spacing. Now you can see that icon option is available in style tab. Click and open the icon menu from where you can color the icon and adjust its size independently to the text. I do not need an icon so I am going to delete it. That's it. Let's preview it. It looks great. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.